Thank you again for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about processing receipts in Acumatica. Let's go ahead and take a look at our agenda. And we're going to talk about processing invoices and receipts. So our first step is going to be to enter and release an accounts receivable invoice and then process a payment against that invoice. But then I'm also going to show you how to release more than one invoice at a time so you don't have to go through each individual invoice. So here I am in Acumatic. I'm going to go to Finance, Accounts Receivable, and in the Work Area, select Invoices and Memos. And we're just going to create a new invoice here. So you can see the reference number is new. Now to create an invoice, we're going to select our customer. And once we select our customer, various pieces of information associated with that customer comes into the invoice, including the terms of the invoice. And as you can see, the terms for this particular invoice is 30 days from now. So the due date is 30 days from now and other pieces of information. We'll go ahead and go down to the document details tab and add details to this invoice. And as you can see, we could include inventory items, non-inventory items, those kinds of things. But actually, we're just going to skip all of that. We're just going to go ahead and invoice this customer for an amount. So we can type in whatever description we wish for this invoice. We won't need a quantity or a unit of measure or a unit price because we don't have any items that we're selling. And we can go straight to the extended price field and we'll type in the amount that we wish to invoice this customer. So I'll go ahead and put in $2,000 here. So you can see that everything's fine with this invoice. Let's go ahead and save it, because after saving it, we can go to the reports and we can print this invoice. So I'll just go ahead and pull that up so you can see that the information that I typed in on the details shows up in the invoice in the same manner. Now, obviously, this invoice form is customizable to your needs. And now that we've printed the invoice, let's go ahead and go back and release it. So I'm going to go ahead, go back to the invoice and memos data entry. The invoice is still on the screen. It's balanced, it's not on hold, so we'll go ahead and release it. Back to our agenda, we're now going to talk about how to process and release a payment for this invoice. Back in Acumatica, then, I'm going to go to Payments and Applications, and we're going to do a new payment here. We'll select the customer. And once we select the customer, we can then put in the payment amount. So let's just say I received the $2,000 for this invoice that I just created. So I'll type in 2,000 for the receipt amount. It automatically fills in the document type of invoice. It knows who the customer is. We'll go ahead and do a lookup and select the invoice. Now I'm gonna sort this in descending order so I can get that invoice on top here. So here's my $2,000 invoice, and I'm just gonna apply the payment to that one invoice. Understand that you can have a payment amount much greater than a single invoice and then distribute that payment amount across multiple invoices. That's perfectly fine. Well, we'll save it first, and then we'll release it. So now that payment has been applied. Back on our agenda, our last piece of information that we want to provide today is how to select multiple invoices for release. What I showed you was how to enter an invoice and release it right after you enter it, but you can have multiple people entering invoices and then you can have the release be done all at once. To release multiple invoices, we're going to go to the Processes tab and choose Release AR Documents. And what you're going to see here is a list of all AR documents, in this case invoices, that have not previously been released. And if I want to release them all, I can just push the Release All button. If I want to release individual ones, I can check the box on which ones I want to release and then push the Release button. So again, you don't have to enter the invoice and release it in one step. So as a review, we talked about how to enter and release an accounts receivable invoice how to enter and release a payment against that invoice. And we also talked about how to select multiple invoices release all at the same time. We want to thank you for joining us today. Here's some information for you about our user group. You can subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. We're available on LinkedIn. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to erp at nimsassociates.com or call the phone number listed. We really appreciate your time and thank you for joining us today.